I've been making these videos for well over a year at this point, and I can't believe how fast time's flying. And there's one incredibly popular question we haven't really dug in on. Sure, we've mentioned it, but we've never actually done a deep dive into the plant paradox and weight loss. And I read the comments. I know how many of you are asking about weight loss. But before we dive in, I've got a question for you. Are there any health topics you'd like to know more about? If so, reply in the comments and let me know what you're curious about. After all, I created this channel for you, and I want to make sure you're benefiting from it. So, if there's anything you want to know, go ahead and leave a comment below. And now, let's move on to the main event, today's video, the skinny on weight loss and the plant paradox. I'll start by saying the plant paradox is not a weight loss plan. It's a longevity plan. It's designed to help you live your longest, healthiest life. And for a lot of people, especially here in America, that means losing weight. After all, the vast majority of American adults could actually stand to lose at least a few pounds, and most of us could lose a lot. After all, being overweight and obese can have some serious health repercussions, including cardiovascular disease and arthritis to shorten life expectancy. So even though the plant paradox is not a weight loss diet, it's a tool you can use to reach your healthiest weight and live a long life too. So how can you make the plant paradox work for weight loss? First, like they say in The Sound of Music, Let's start at the very beginning with my Kickstart Cleanse. It's also known as phase one on my diet. And it's true, it's pretty strict. But it gives you the chance to flush your body of dangerous lectins and bad bacteria. And when it comes to weight loss, that's essential because lectins and bacteria actually tell your body to store fat. So when you flush your body of lectins and gang member bacteria, you're giving yourself a chance at a system reset and you set yourself up for long-term weight loss success. And good news, phase one is pretty simple. You get to eat loads of greens and cruciferous vegetables, a little wild caught seafood, plenty of avocado and nuts, and some healthy fats. That leaves you with plenty of delicious options. Check out the recipes here on my channel. Just make sure to skip dairy, meats, roots, and resistant starches for phase one. But don't worry, you'll add them back in as you'll go. After just three days, and ideally a week or so, you get to move on to phase two, where you get to add in root vegetables, resistant starches like millet and sorghum, A2 dairy, a little grass-fed meat, the occasional piece of in-season fruit, and even a glass of wine if you'd like. Now, you can stay on phase two for as long as you like. And if you want to keep losing weight, I encourage you to stay on phase one or two rather than moving on to phase three. Also, if you ever find yourself plateauing in your weight loss, hop back to phase one for a few days. Like I said, it's a kickstart. So it'll give your body the jump it needs. Now, before I go, I want to answer a few common weight loss questions I get every day. But Dr. G, shouldn't I count calories? Good news. If you're truly sticking to the Plant Paradox program, you don't need to count calories. And if you've got weight to lose, you will lose weight. Especially if you're good about filling your plate and your body with plenty of vegetables. And if you make sure to treat things like meat and resistant starches as sides and not the main event you should be A-OK, -okay, not counting needed. Just make sure you're still using food as a means of getting olive oil into your mouth. Hang on, so I can eat fat and still lose weight? Absolutely, you should be eating fat at every meal. More specifically, you should be eating olive oil, MCT oil, or avocado oil at every meal. And no, eating fat won't make you fat. As a matter of fact, there's evidence that healthy fats found in olive oil could actually support weight loss. So go ahead, drizzle that oil onto your salad, eat that avocado, 
If you're sticking to foods that are approved on the plant paradox plan, you'll be fine. Is there anything I should avoid? Yes, lectins and sugar. But chances are you're curious about approved foods you should avoid. And the answer is no. But if you're trying to lose weight, there are some things you should only eat in moderation. One is fruit. It really is nature's candy. And I actually suggest that people who want to lose weight avoid eating fruit entirely. But if you're craving something sweet, have a small serving of local in-season fruit maybe once a week. Or have a piece of bittersweet chocolate. Another thing is worth eating in moderation only, animal protein. I'm talking meat, sure, but also dairy, even approved dairy, and omega-3 eggs. Yes, they're all on the yes list, but you should treat them as a side dish or a treat, not the main course. Also, it might be best to skip huge servings of things like macadamia nuts, which are amazing for your health, but pretty calorie dense. Sure, go ahead and have a few, but leave it at that. For those, I suggest pre-portioning your snacks. Put them in little bags because they're delicious and addictive. It's hard to stop at one. And remember, sustainable weight loss takes time. And slow, steady progress is fantastic. So don't pressure yourself to lose all the weight as fast as possible. Remember, one of my favorite sayings is, weight off fast will never last. Weight off slow, you're good to go. A pound or two a week is fantastic. And the less weight you have to lose, the slower it goes. Now, if you're sticking to the plant paradox plan and you're not losing weight, it's worth talking to a doctor and figuring out if there's an underlying cause you don't know about. But for most people, even though the plant paradox is not a weight loss plan, it's the perfect plan for sustainable health longevity, and yes, for losing a few pounds. So eat plenty of leafy greens and don't be afraid of fat. Because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out.